Hello, this video is to demonstrate how you can use PowerSlide to create supporting edges um, in geometry where you have cylinder joins um, like this. Uh, we want to put some edges um, around the side of where the two cylinders join to make a nice tight but smooth connection. Um, now it's a little bit different than other geometry uh, because uh, you have, if we look at the edge that's going around the join, um, on some vertices we have two incoming edges which means if we uh, cut supporting edges in here um, power slide can um, it can sort of line up those two edges and it can line up those two but for this one it doesn't have um, a corresponding edge um, now if you do select them and, and going to power slide, it, it will have a go at doing it and it will get it pretty accurate, but it, it won't be perfect and, and we want it perfect because power slide is all about precision. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to make it precise. Um, what we want to do is, first of all, we need to add a few extra edges in. Um, I'm just selecting two vertices and pressing J, which creates an edge between them. Um, now I'll do the usual power slide thing of just hacking edges in like this um, and now for each of these four one two three four um, we want to bring these vertices onto this line so the way we do that is we select the two vertices then select the vertex that's on the line and go to merge at last. And what that's going to do is make sure that that vertex is nicely on the, the diagonal line between, between this vertex and this vertex. Um, we do that with those ones. And then we do it with those ones then we do it with those ones uh, now we can get rid of these superfluous edges that we don't need anymore uh, we'll add a supporting edge in there and if you've never used power slide before you're probably thinking this looks like a crazy mess but if we select one edge on the primary loop uh, go into power slide press tab and nice and neat we'll set it to 0 0.05 um, now we'll quickly just add some extra um, edge loops on here just to, to finish the job um, so as usual we just hack it in the quickest way we can uh, whoops. Um, I try and use as few cuts as possible just because there's no need to use lots and then add one more edge loop in there select one edge on that loop one edge oh we didn't add the extra ones in here uh, select one edge on that loop one edge on that loop one edge on that loop go into power slide press tab and done and then when we add our subsurf modifier, perfectly smooth. 